7.30 a.m. here on Fox 4. Welcome back. Well, funeral services are set for Friday morning for a North Texas firefighter who lost his battle to cancer. And fellow firefighters credit him with saving their lives. Hannah is here this morning with more on how the department is remembering him. Well, Brandon and Lauren, 33-year-old Wade Cannon died Saturday after a two-year battle with colon cancer. He shared his story in a video with the Firefighters Association last year in the hopes that it would encourage others to get screened. There's an element to, uh, to other people getting checked out and knowing they're either okay or not okay um, that, that, that gives me a peace of mind that regardless of how this turns out, we won. So that video message inspired at least a dozen of his colleagues to get checked out. Turns out two of them also had colon cancer. CDC generally recommends colonoscopies every 10 years for adults starting at age 45. Well, Wade was diagnosed with occupational colon cancer when he was just 31. Stomach pains led him to go to the doctor. They discovered uh, after his screening that the cancer had already spread to his lymph nodes and liver. Fellow firefighters say between his chemotherapy and clinical trials, Cannon still thought of others. Wade Cannon was a selfless guy. You, you knew you were family the moment you met him. It hit me hard Saturday, um, but when I saw him, I knew he was no longer in pain. Cannon's wife Chelsea posted a tribute to him on Facebook, writing Wade, quote, soaked up every good day, every good moment, every good minute, and every good second God gave him on this earth, end quote. Now his two colleagues who were diagnosed with cancer are now in remission. His fellow firefighters say he ended up winning. Wade did because he helped save those two lives. Brandon. All right, Hannah. Thank